idea about the indices and cube root you are already studied in the last standard what is indices and some rules of log of indices you are familiar with indices but in this standard we have to learn about the indices in deep so first revise the log of indices you know some of the log of indices and also you know how to apply these logs for solving the examples related with indices so now learn about the log of indices you know if y and n are the integers y and n are integers then the first law a raised to y into a raised to n equal to a raised to y plus n that means the base of the two terms which we have to find the product of two terms called as base base is same and index of each base is different here yam and yam are any integers then a is to yam into a is to yam equal to a is to yam plus yam that means there is the sum of the indices here there is product or multiplication of two numbers having same base here we have to find the division of two terms having the same base here a is the base but a is to n is divided by a is to n y and n are an integers a is to n divided by a is to n equal to a is to n minus n here there is subtraction subtract n from n subtract n from n here sum of the indices here subtraction of the indices then the third law a and b are the different terms and there is product of a and b that means product of two different numbers bracket is to n equal to a is to n into b is to n n is the index of bracket that means n is the index of each term from the bracket there are two terms a and b so here a is to n into a is to b is to n then in the fourth law here the product of two different terms having the same index then we get a is to n into b is to n now here there is division of two different terms a divided by b bracket is to m here m is the index which is the same for these two terms there are two terms means 
A is the numerator and B is the denominator. So A upon B raised to M equal to A raised to M divided by B raised to M. Similarly, here there is a product or multiplication and here there is division of two terms. But the index is the same. Then in the next bracket is to m equal to a is to m into m that is m n a is to m n that is product of two integers or product of indices then the next law is a is to 0 equal to 1 that means index 0 of any number value of any number having index 0 is always 1 for example 15 raised to 0 equal to 1 or 100 raised to 1 100 raised to 0 equal to also 1 that means a is any real number having index 0 then value is always 1 then next law a is to minus m here the index is a negative to convert it into positive index we get a upon a is to plus m if a is to minus m equal to 1 upon a is to plus m Similarly here, a upon b bracket is to minus m, a is numerator and b is denominator. Then here the index minus m converted into plus m that is negative to positive. We have take the reciprocal of this ratio a is to b or a upon b is b upon a. Reciprocal of A upon B is B upon A raised to plus M. So to convert this negative index into the positive index, we have to take the reciprocal of this ratio. So these are some of the laws of indices which you which uh, you are familiar with them then today we have to find we have to learn a new point or a new topic that is the meaning of numbers with rational indices meaning of numbers with rational indices there are two types of rational indices. Meaning of numbers, when the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n, there are two types, two forms. One of them is the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n and the other the index is the rational number of the form m upon n denominator is same m and n are integers then m is denominator is same but here in this case the numerator is 1 and here the numerator is m upon n. So, first study the meaning of the numbers of the rational indices when the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n. The index is in this form. Friends, you know to 
टू शो द स्क्वेर ऑफ अ नंबर टू शो द स्क्वेर ऑफ अ नंबर द इंडेक्स इज रिटर्न एज टू टू शो द स्क्वेर ऑफ एनी नंबर द इंडेक्स इज टू
the square root of 25 ohm to show the square root of given number the index is in the form 1 upon n here 1 upon n n equal to 2 then to find the cube root of the number second example suppose cube root of cube root of 27 36 in the statement form in the word cube root of 27 by using the symbol we show it as the cube cube root of 27 or by using the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n here 27 raised to 1 upon 3 27 raised to 1 upon 3 here n equal to 3 so 27 raised to 1 upon 3 means we read it as the cube root of 27 and note that the cube root of 27 is 3 3 into 3 into 3 cube of 3 is 27 so cube root of 27 is 3 similarly square of 5 is 25 therefore the square root of 25 is 5 not that the square root of 25 value of square root of 25 is 5 value of cube root of 27 is 3 you know about the uh, squares and square roots cubes and the cube roots also you are familiar with the tables then the next example similarly cube of a is written as third example cube of a is written as cube of a is written as a cube cube of a in this form and the cube root of a then cube root of a is cube root of a this is the statement cube root of a this is in symbolic form cube root of a and is in the index form that is in the form of rational number in the form of 1 upon n that is here a raised to 1 upon 3 means cube root of a cube root of 27 cube root of a are some of the examples then the uh, Suppose the next example, examples from uh, practice set 3.1 or the other example 
Hit power of 3 Here For example 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 Equal to 3 raised to 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 3 raised to 5 And 9 into 9 81 3 equal to 3 here fifth power fifth power fifth power of 3 is 243 therefore here fifth root fifth root of 243 is denoted by fifth root of 243 fifth root of 243 is in the symbolic form this is the symbolic form fifth root of 243 and note that the fifth root of 243 is 3 why? The fifth power of 3 is 243. Also, we will write this by using index in the form 1 upon n. That is 1 upon here n equal to 5. n equal to 5. Therefore, this is the fifth root of 243. Fifth root of 243, one form, second form, and the other third form of the index of any number is in the form one upon n. Then we are going to study about some of the examples. From the practice set 3.1, here express the following numbers in index form. The question is given. Express the following numbers in index form. An example is given. Fifth root of 13. First example is. Fifth root of 13 in index form. First denote this number in symbolic form. Fifth root of 13. Fifth root of 13 equal to index form 13 raised to 1 upon by u. Or seventh root of thirty. Seven. Root of thirty. Seven root of thirty in index form. This is symbolic form. This is index form. Thirty raised to 1 upon 7 means 7 root of 30 7 root of 30 then the second question is right in the form nth root of a nth root of a for example 512 
512 raised to 1 upon 9. Now we have to write this example in this form. N root of A. N root of A. Here A is the base. Here N is the root. N root of means in symbolic form N equal to 9 and A equal to 512. That is in words 9 9 9 through of 512 This is the 9 through of 512 by symbolic form in words So we can show the given numbers in index form as well as in n root of a in each of the given example. So this is about the meaning of numbers when the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n. The next then the next point and the other Meaning of numbers with the rational indices. When the index when the index is a rational number of the form yum upon yum. Now there is change in numerator. Now numerator is other than 1. Here we know square of 4 is 16 or square of 8 is 64. Here again, cube root of 60, 
4 cube root of cube root of 64 but 64 is the square of 8 64 is the square of 8 64 equal to square of 8 so that means it's equal to 8 raised to 2 into 1 by applying this law a is to m bracket is to n a is to m bracket is to n equal to a is to m into n so applying the same law we have 8 raised to 2 into 1 2 upon 3 that means here 8 raised to 2 upon 3 the index now index of 8 is in the form m upon n m upon n here m is other than 1 Failure to m in this example is 2 the numerator is 2 and denominator is 3 or we write this as 8 raised to 1 upon 3 bracket square again 8 raised to 1 into 2 2 upon 3 and these two are same or we write this as we can show this as a raised to means cube root of a square cube root of a bracket square is equal to a plus 2 so into 1 or 2 into 1 2 upon 3 where m and n are the different numbers now using the here the rules for rational indices are the same the rules for rational indices are the same as those for integral indices and we read it as the cube root of square of a the cube root of square of a or we write it as square of cube root of a square square of cube root of a or cube root of square of a by the both the ways we read it as here a square 1 upon 3 we read this as q root q root of square q root of square of a or a raised to 1 upon 3 bracket square and we read this as the square square of cube root of a square of cube root of a square of cube root of a or cube root of square of a we read this by both the ways there are two ways to read this example now yam root of yam 
पावर ऑफ ए और यम पावर ऑफ यम रूट ऑफ ए जनरली वी कैन एक्सप्रेस टू मीनिंग्स ऑफ नंबर ए रेस टू यम अपॉन एन मींस study the examples from practice set 3.2 the number is the one second example for the value raised to four upon five So power of the root. What is power of which root? First, read the power. Fourth power. Which power? Numerator is the power. That is fourth power of fifth root. Four power of fifth root of forty five. Fourth power of fifth root of forty five. Or the other meaning. Of this, now read the root of the power. Here, root which root? Fifth root. Fifth root of fourth power.
from practice set 3.1 to practice set 3.2. So today we will stop here. Thank you.